Well, hello, friends. Will Davis Jr. here with good news today. I pray you are well. Thanks for joining in. As always, send your cards, comments, and questions, and even your complaints to seniorpastor at acfellowship.org. I do love hearing from you. Okay, I keep saying this because Genesis 1 through 3 is so deep, but we're in deep, deep waters here. Tall grass, high cotton, however you want to say it. And we now turn to the condemnation of Adam, the judgment of Adam by God. Um, which is the most severe of the three. And the implications of it are far-reaching. I'm going to do my best to do it justice in the next couple of days. So Genesis 3, 17 says, Then Adam, to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, we've talked about that, and you've eaten from the tree which I commanded you not to eat, saying you shall not eat from it. Here's the first um, throwdown. Cursed is the ground because of you. Okay, so we've, we've noticed that um, the judgment have affected in Eve one of her life-giving things was she was a mother, and the great joy of her of giving a lot, the ability to give life to humans has been made more complex and tainted now by pain and even death. Adam's rule was over creation. Adam was set in dominion over the Garden of Eden to take care of it, and now um, it becomes his enemy. We talked about that. There's an enemy relationship in all three of the condemnations. The, the serpent and the offspring of Eve are now enemies. It seems to a bit man and women are now enemies because of the sub subjugation of women because of sin. And now the earth and Adam, earth, the earth and humans are now enemies. And that which was intended to be our partner and to be under us has now become that which is against us. So enter in all those questions about why things happen in nature that hurt people. Okay? This is the scriptures talk that creation is groaning. We're not supposed to be at war with nature and with animals and with the created order. And yet we are. And that was never the way God designed it. And right here is the explanation of it. The, the ground that God created Adam to rule over has been cursed now because of him. And in difficult days and labor... We'll see tomorrow. He will, he'll still bring fruit from it, but now with, now with much more effort and difficulty. He'll have things like drought and plagues and famine and locusts to deal with when he didn't have those before. But when Adam and Eve sinned, the whole created order that God made got broken, got off its axis a bit, spiritually speaking. It's no longer under the, the authority of man. It's been cursed, and it's an incurable disease. Notice that God is not going to redeem the world and restore it. God's going to destroy this one, Revelation says, and create a new one. That's not been ever been tainted by sin. The damage done to the planet by Adam and Eve is irreversible. And so now you have hurricanes, and now you have earthquakes, and now you have tornadoes, and now you have flooding, and now you have a beautiful creative system that doesn't quite work the way it was supposed to. You have nature at war almost within it, with it against itself and you have nature against in war against humanity. And everything we appreciate about the planet, which is so magnificent, is not quite working the way it's supposed to because it's been cursed. And the only way to fix it is to give us a new one, which is what Revelation 21 and 22 talk about. Cursed is the ground because of you. So the next time you see a tsunami, a typhoon, a hurricane, a tornado, an earthquake devastate a, a volcano, a landscape. Understand it goes back to Genesis 3 and the, the enmity placed in the condemnation. Enmity, enmity between the serpent and man, enmity between Adam and Eve, humans, males and females, and enmity, enmity between humans and the planet. The next time you see a headline about this, that's where it comes from. That's the answer. And it's horrible. We're living in a world that's broken and dying. And sometimes it breaks us with it. The redemption plan of Jesus Christ is a new heaven and new earth unaffected by sin. Yea, God, more tomorrow. We love you, Lord. Thank you for this day. Bless my listeners today. Thank you for them. Thank you for the redemption plan. Thank you for answers, even though they're hard. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. See you tomorrow.